Yo, what is up, Potato Squad? In today's video, we are gonna have a look at the patch notes for the patch that is dropping next week. Now, in this patch, there is so many new things. We have new skins, we have new striker pass, we have a lot of bug fixes, a lot of improvements. And without further ado, let's just hop right into it and let's have a look at what is new. So I'm just gonna be reading through these patch notes. I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. And of course, if you are not interested in a certain topic, which I completely understand, there will be timestamps on this video so you can just skip to whatever you'd like to know or whatever you're interested in. So first things first, we have a new weapon. The MP5 is one of the most iconic and widely used SMGs in the world. Known for its exceptional accuracy and reliability due to its roller delayed blowback mechanism. This beloved weapon will be introduced in the new strike pass don't miss the chance to give it a try. Okay, a new SMG. That's actually good because at the moment everyone is running a P90. So if there's a competition to the P90, I'm all for it. We have some optimizations for the vehicle. We have added a few limits to ORVs, which is the car. This is to prevent cars from roaming the map without restrictions. That's actually a good thing, especially for the uh, bigger map. Uh, rank Battle Royale. Add a three-player mode for Shutter Island in Rank Battle Royale. Team up with two of your best comrades and gain an advantage with exceptional teamwork. Okay, uh, this is kind of unexpected for me uh, because I already thought that uh, Bloodstrike has a lot of queues already. We have solo, duo, squad queue. And then on top of that, we have duo and squad uh, Sorry, yeah, duo and squad queue. So the fact that they're adding a third queue into Rank means that there's actually enough people playing the game uh, for them to test this out. So that's a good sign, actually. Combat optimizations. We have added few limits to cars. Okay, we've already had that above. Added an auto open parachute option. Players on mobile devices can access this option. Okay. While players on PC can access it through gameplay controls. Okay, so, so basically we have a new auto open parachute option. Fix an issue where projectiles and their sound effects did not match under high latency. Okay, very nice. The HUD will not be hidden when inspecting. Ooh, that's very, very nice. Enjoy admiring your weapons without any obstructions. Dude, that is a nice improvement. It's a very small thing, but it's very nice. Optimize the conditions for the without dying missions. Missions of this type can now be completed simultaneously. Okay, very nice. System optimizations. Add a tree player mode for Shutter Island and Ranked. Okay, we've read that. Optimize the mode selection interface, making it easier to select Shutter Island map in Ranked Battle Royale. Nice. I actually really like this. Um, this will make it so that more people will start playing on Shutter Island because I do have the feeling that when people start out playing this game, they usually get thrown into the bigger map and after that, that's what they kind of prefer. So if new players actually come into the game and they see an option of two maps, then they will try both options. So I actually very, very much like that. Optimize the sensitivity settings. Players can now input the sensitivity value they desire. Okay, very nice. Personal info will now display weapon modifications and custom appearances. That is actually kind of cool. So if you're inspecting someone's profile, you can actually see the exact attachments that they have on, uh, well, on the weapon that they're strong with. Very nice. Added a claim all button to make it easier for players to claim rewards. Okay, that's very nice because claiming things one by one, ain't nobody got time for that, let's be honest. We have new arrivals. Okay, so we have Ran Rave. Okay, dance to the pulsating rhythm. The first ever Eternal Striker skin, Rave and Ran's exclusive execution, Ice Burial make their stunning debut. In case your enemies in ice as you groove to the music. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, that is really, really cool. Also, image on screen if you want to see what it looks like. So we also have the new Ultra skin for the M4 Apocalypse, which will be available on May 10th. So that is actually on the date that this video is, is coming out. Very, very nice. Uh, next up, we have Hank Beach Party. Prepare to... Prepare for the upcoming legendary skin, Beach Party. Join Hank for an exciting beachside party and bask in the sunshine. Honestly, guys, this skin, I'm kind of looking forward to it because, and not only me, but, you know, probably Hank's skin is going to have, like, you know, shorts, doesn't have a t-shirt on, or maybe he will have some kind of, like, Hawaiian t-shirt going on. I don't know, but that is actually really, really cool. Also, summer is coming, so I'm very happy that they are already bringing out these skins. It's very nice. All right, uh, we have a new striker pass. Welcome to the third season with a new striker pass starting May 15th. Upgrade your strike pass to receive a new MP5 for free. Purchasing the Elite or the Elite Plus strike pass will give you the new legendary lava skin for MP5 and Kala and numerous awesome rewards. Okay, so the main kind of like highlighted, highlighted skins here are MP5 for the new gun and the Kala. Okay, very nice. 
Okay, next up we have bug fixes. Now this is actually gonna be a long list because, uh, and you know, you love to see it because bug fixes are very necessary to make the game experience better. So I'm just gonna go over this and uh, yeah, let's see what they fixed. We fixed an issue where custom keybinds did not take effect on PC when marked, okay, very nice. Fixed an issue where the teammate info would be displayed abnormally for players on PC. I did not know that was possible. I just know that I'm always shooting my teammates for no reason because it's not very clear to me that whether they're sometimes enemies or allies. Uh, fix an issue where the sound effects of footsteps were incorrect when stepping on certain parts of Shutter Island. Fix an issue where chests would spawn inside scene components. Optimize the performance of Shutter Island. This is really huge because I've seen a lot of people not playing Shutter Island because of the performance issues. So the fact that they actually fix it is amazing, bro. Okay, fix an issue where players might spawn inside scene components. Uh, okay, I haven't seen that one. Fix an issue with one location in Shutter Island Port where players can move beyond the intended boundaries. Oh. Fix an issue where the floors of some houses would flash severely. Fix an issue with one location where the collision would not match the actual model. Okay. Now we also have some uh, bug fixes on the valley map. Fix an issue with one location where players were able to view enemies behind scene components. Wow, that's actually game breaking. Fix an issue with two locations in Valley where players could move beyond intended boundaries. Fix an issue with one location where players could move beyond the intended boundaries. Okay, so Lumber Mill is fixed, the Valley is fixed, and Arena is fixed. Fix an issue with one scene component error in Port in Valley map. Fix an issue with one scene texture flashing in the Valley power plant. Fix an issue with two misplaced shop locations in the Valley. Okay. Very nice. So for the other maps, we have fix an issue with two scene components errors in Storm Peninsula. Fix an issue with one location where troubles could go through barbed wire. Okay. Thank you for your love and continued support. We hope you enjoy every moment in Bloodstrike like we do. Let's track development team. Okay, that's a W. Honestly, they have done so many bug fixes. There's a new striker pass. There's a lot of new cosmetics. We are going to be pretty much like grinding again for a whole month. There's also going to be a season reset. So, you know. For people who are looking to grind the leaderboards, now is your time to shine. Get ready, get sweaty, because this is it. This is it. All right, so before I go, I want to have a look at the uh, new skin. So we have the Rave skin over here. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. I'm going to zoom that in a little bit. It's a bit blurry. The image is not best quality, but uh, that looks really, really cool, honestly. Um, I do think you're going to be very, very flashy with the skin, and people will spot you out easily. But still, it's nice, man. It looks good. Can't wait to actually see this in-game. Okay, up next we have the new MP5. Arriving on May 15th, by the way, okay? So not straight away on the 14th or the 10th like the other stuff is coming. Uh, but have a look at that, guys. That looks actually super, super nice. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, having a new SMG in the game is pretty, pretty good. And then we also have the M4 skin. And now this is kind of the star of the show. Like this skin actually looks amazing, bro. Like I've been really, really impressed with the level of skins that uh, Bloodstrike has. It actually feels like they are trying to go for that Valorant kind of like skins quality. And you can tell because you can also upgrade your weapons and the way they look, the way they shoot, the way you can like get the kill broadcast going and stuff. So uh, very, very nice. I'm definitely going to check this out. I haven't really played that much M4, but something tells me that in this patch, I will want to be playing uh, M4. Like with this skin, damn bro, it looks sick. Imagine this skin, but like with a golden camo. Wow, bro, that's going to look amazing. All right, and that's pretty much a wrap. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. And if you'd like to see more content, because I am doing a lot more Bloodstrike nowadays, please make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. It would mean the world to me. And also a little reminder that on Saturdays, I am doing viewer games on my live streams on YouTube. So if you want to get some games in with me and with the community, make sure to join my live stream. And yeah, man, let's sweat together. Let's get some Ws. See you guys soon.